everyone, this is Einfari here today, and I'm going to be showing you the part three of the MBF 1000 IBO API personality. So this is the remote control and programming mode. So how you get into that mode is that you hold down the escape key for up to 30 seconds, and then you'll get a pop-up that says press return to quit or RC to enter remote control. So when I, I'll show you this in a second, but you type in RC, and then on the manual, here's the remote control functions and these show you the different keys that you use to get Ibo to turn, walk forward, turn around, etc. So this is how you get the Ibo to walk around the room as you would like it to and then once you click the shift key that puts it into program mode which will give you different actions to play and each of these actions that you see here are, are three code keys to let you play those specific actions. So now I'm going to boot Phaser up and we'll show you how this works. Now I have the program starting, so he's just going to start normally in autonomous mode. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get him into the remote control mode through the command line. So you hold the escape key. Sometimes that can take a while depending on what the robot's doing, but you just keep holding it until a pop-up shows up asking if you want to escape or go into remote control mode. So then this is a pop-up that you're waiting for, so then you want to click RC, click enter. So then now here he is in the remote control mode and this will and these are the different arrow keys so I can get him to turn right or left, walk forward or walk forward. So this executes a left turn when I click the left key. And this is how I would get him to turn right. And then the down arrow key makes him do a 180 degree turn. And I can make him walk forward, but I'm afraid he's going to get out of the camera range, so I just, I'm just i just going to skip that for now. But then I'm going to go into programming mode to show you the action player. So I click shift. And you see here are the three letter codes to make your Ibo play the specific keys. So you enter the command. I can make him yawn by doing YWN. And then once the action is done, it will give you the enter commands again, and then you enter another three-letter code. And you can also put, play multiple codes at a time by adding a comma and no space. So I'm going to make him do jiggle, sing, and then bark in a row. So then I think you can add up to 10 commands in a row to get him to it, but this is fun for if you want to make your Ibo do a little skit, and it seems to have a little less lag than visual programming does for doing this. And this just lets you do it with easy commands if you want to use the API rather than the scratch programming, it's just whatever you prefer to use when you want to, use, when you want to play with Ibo. So now I'm going to do 4 in a row. Click enter.
Splatoon doing four commands. So this is what I have for the remote control and the action player functions. They're a lot of fun just to play around with along with the autonomous mode. So I hope you enjoyed watching this awesome program and if you want to try it yourself, let me know. And all credit goes to John Warburton Brown for doing an amazing job with this. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.